One of the crucial factors which aided the RAF in its victory during the Battle of Britain was its command and control system. Central to this was radar, or radio detection finding as it was known at the time. A line of radar sites known as Chain Home had been constructed along the British coast to detect incoming aircraft. However, this was new technology and there were a number of limitations with the Chain Home system. One of these was the difficulty in differentiating between an enemy aircraft and a friendly one. The answer to this problem was to fit transponders to the RAF aircraft, and that's what we have here. This is a receiver type 3002, which was the main component of Air Radio Installation 5000, better known as Identification Friend or Foe Mark II, usually shortened to IFF. This would produce a distinctive return in the chain home operator's scope, signifying a friendly aircraft. The Mark II sets began to be fitted to Fighter Command aircraft in July 1940, but it wasn't until October that most of the command's aircraft were equipped with the technology. Prior to this, the majority of the Mark I sets had been fitted to Bomber and Coastal Command aircraft. The reason being that these would be the aircraft most likely to be operating close to or over the continent of Europe, and therefore would be the aircraft most commonly detected by Chain Home. I've only mentioned Chain Home and not Chain Home Low, which was used to detect low-flying aircraft. The simple reason for this is that the Mark I and II sets were incompatible with Chain Home Low, so if you were approaching the British coast, you were supposed to do so at a minimum height of 2,000 feet so Chain Home could pick you up and identify you as a friendly aircraft. Now here's a question for you. What if the enemy got hold of one of these? Couldn't they use it to pretend to be a friendly aircraft? Well, yes, that was a risk. And that's why there's a slot right here. This is where the demolition charge was fitted. If you were shot down over enemy territory, you were supposed to press a couple of buttons that would set the charge off destroying the sensitive parts of the set. All well and good if you have the time to do so or weren't incapacitated. If that was the case, you would have to rely on the inertia switch. Originally a bit of firefighting equipment which would automatically set off the fire extinguishers if the aircraft crashed. These switches were also used to detonate the demolition charge, destroying your IFF set and ensuring that your foe couldn't use the system and pretend to be your friend. For more interesting content on the Battle of Britain, do check out the other videos in the series or come and visit us at the RAF Museum.